Hey guys, this is Pam and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review for you from the house of Frederick Ma. And I think that this perfume is just absolutely amazing. And before we get to it, that perfume is The Moon. And the perfumer is Julien Raskinet. So first of all, what I like about the house of Frederick Ma is that they always feature or put the name of the perfumer on the bottle. I think that's nice to always give credit to the perfumer. Um, yeah, so let me tell you first. I need to be honest with you. So the first time I was sampling the moon and it's been like two, two, two to three years, okay? It's the first time I sampled it. I have been sampling um, from time to time. I wasn't a big fan. I thought like the cumin was overpowering. Um, and then I kind of just like stopped there. I was like, I would get that cumin in the opening. But then I would just like, then that would be the end of it for me. I was not giving it a proper test. Also, there are perfumes such as this one like the moon which is like a very complex perfume that you can't just sample it from a little two mil de decant okay the atomizer that having that small decant or like those one mil thing that you just kind of rub on your skin it, it doesn't give give the fragrance justice you cannot properly have a test okay you cannot properly wear it the way it's supposed to be worn let's go ahead first and read the notes from Fragrantica because I need all the help that I can have. Again, the perfumer is Julian Raskine. This was launched in 2019. Top notes are raspberry, lychee, or lychee, saffron, middle notes, Turkish rose, red berries, olibanum, red currant, violet, base notes, agarwood, or oud, leather, patchouli, amber, sandalwood. Okay, so I have been really in the mood lately for this kind of scents, okay, or experience. I guess it's something with the weather or my mood, you know, like if you are a fragrance lover just like me, our mood changes. Sometimes we like sugary sweet stuff or super girly things if you're a dude, like super masculine smell. But um, personally, me, sometimes I like complex fragrances like this one. Um, and I do love oud. I do love oud fragrances. In fact, I have been burning my own oud. I have like a, uh, an incense burner where I can burn my own oud chips. And sometimes I do burn bakur. All right, so going back to the perfume. Um, again, I did not like it at first as much because that cumin to me was off-putting. Now, I do have fragrances that has cumin, cumin, and I like those, but sometimes to me it depends. Um, so, going back, okay, going back, because so I have been wearing Promise, and Promise is also one of the, from Frederick Mall. Um, so this is a new bottle. I just got this bottle, but I just finished my five mil decant, okay? If you have a five mil decant of something like this perfume like promise you will just wear it I, i've had it for like a year okay especially if you're wearing other things so i've been in the mood for promise and i kind of want something different and i was organizing my samples with the help of my friend rachel we were organizing my samples came across with the moons and i was like oh my goodness i need to retest this and i retested it and i was like let me just get past that cumin stage and OMG, I'm just in love. I'm in love. I got a bottle. Super expensive perfume, okay? Super duper expensive bottle, but I think it is worth every bit of it, okay? Especially if you get a discount. I got a discount on Saks. I got this on Saks. Um, but actually, I was looking, just in case you know, you're know you curious, on, on the Frederick Mal website, they have it now. Um, they have a lot of... Uh, um, discounted prices on the Frederick Mall website so check that out because I got it uh, their price is about the same as I when I got it from Saks Fifth Avenue and I had 20% so you know check it out that you're interested okay the moon so 
I got past that cumin. In fact, I actually really like the opening. I love every stage of this perfume. The, the first stage, the opening, is still not my absolute favorite, but now I actually do appreciate it, okay? Although it's not my favorite out of all the stages. Actually, my favorite stage is the mid, but I'm not saying I don't like the first, the opening, and the dry down. I love all of them. I'm just saying, like, if I have to pick a favorite, my favorite is the mid. Okay, so what do I get? Def this is definitely an oud centric perfume you definitely get oud again that opening you get that cumin blast okay but the cumin in here is like a, it's, it's actually still tamed it's very muted but it's still it's there you will smell it you will feel it it's uh it's kind of like musty okay like, a, like um, imagine somebody who's been working all day or I don't know, like a, like a, like a guy who's been like chopping wood. Somebody who's, who's, who started out clean, okay? So it's not dirty, he's just, the person has just been working, okay? So now he's now become musty. He's got that musty. To me, cumin always reminds me not that... I smell like it or I've smelled smelled somebody like it but to me it, I just always picture like a crotch smell okay I have not been smelling people's crotches or I promise you my or I hope so my crotch does not smell like that but anyway that's just what I always related to cumin smells like a armpits or like crotch but this one the cumin on this one goes more on the crotchy side than the armpit side so it's kind of like it's actually i don't know it's actually I actually like it it's pretty nice it's a good crotch smell okay all right so you get that mud, musty crotchy cumin opening then the mid you have this i mean it, it's also in the opening but to me maybe within the 20 minutes okay so from the first time you spray it within that first 20 minutes you would get this red fruit <laughs> it's like a juicy red fruits that's all i can describe i don't necessarily pick up red berries or raspberries or lychee or red currant i don't get those uh, fruit particularly which to me is a testament to how beautifully mixed uh this perfume is because you know I, I like not being able to pinpoint specific notes but you just know it's there you just know it's adding to that glorious scent so to me what i smell is just red plump juicy red fruit specifically red it smells red um oh my goodness it's gorgeous okay that with the with the crotch cumin mustiness it's just amazing uh oh my goodness so i'm actually gonna spray this one um i have been wearing this like non-stop oh my goodness it's absolutely beautiful so yeah i, I already get that oh my goodness I, it's beautiful it's beautiful so th there's something about this one that is just so kind of wet and warm uh, there's there's like a like it's almost like a like a something steamy something steamy um yeah it's like, it's like a, a, a steamy musty sweaty mixed with the fruits and then you get past that 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 the, the fruit kind of settles down okay and then you just have this kind of like now it's drier on the dry down it's drier the fruit is not as wet it's not as musty it's still there you still uh, feel those mustiness um the texture of like the moistness of it but it's a little bit drier um something like what i think about is like like a tree bark that was kind of been soaking in the rain but now it has started to dry it's now drying but not completely dry yet 
um, and then I think about like the leaves okay also like some brown leaves that's been on the ground um, that's also been soaking wet in the rain but now it's in the it's eva the, the rain has is now evaporating it's now drier oh, it's just um, yeah so it's not it's not as cumini it's not it's not as crotchy in the mid in the dry down that cumin part is very strong in the opening but what I love about it is it still contributes to the dry down um, but you get definitely it's drier it's almost like um, it's not as ashtray because I wanted to say something that's like an ashtray smell but not quite as ashtray as promise okay and I say that in the best way possible it's like, a wet, it's like a wet ashtray, but before the leaves has even turned into ash yet. To me, this is this is more like the leaves has been burnt and turned into ash. That's what promise is. The moon is still drying wet leaves and tree bark. Um, I don't really know what else to say. Um, in terms of how it smells, this is something that you have to experience yourself. I'm checking out my time. If you see me look at my over here, my camera, I'm just checking out how long I've been talking here. Okay, so this is something that you have to actually smell yourself, especially if you're not used to this kind of smell. There is no description that will make you kind of actually imagine the smell. Um, unless maybe you're somebody who's used to this, you've smelled Frederick Mills or you've smelled Promise, Dawn, The Night, or other wood perfumes, or you've been to Middle East. Unless you're somebody who's already familiar with this scent, or you've been in the, you know, where these perfumes are, you know, the, the type of culture these perfumes are inspired of, you have to try this one. You have to try this yourself. This, uh, to me, is... Um, yeah, like I, I jumped from my itty bitty sample and I and I and I jumped and just you know what? I'm I'm gonna just have a proper spray. Proper wear. I'm gonna go ahead and get the bottle. Because I love promise. Um like I have faith. I have faith that it's gonna be good and it is amazing. I don't even know which one I like better, okay? Don't make me choose because it's it's difficult. It's difficult. But as as of right now, I have been enjoying the moon um, but also because I have been wearing promise in the past the moon this is like a, a new new thing for me that I ha that I've been wearing it and not just in the test part actually enjoying it and wearing it oh, sometimes it's easier for me to think about the like, imagery you know th there are times I think about just what it smells like but sometimes I have there are times it depends on the perfume I have more of an imagery yeah, so the imagery that I get from this one, um, it being even the moon, okay? What's, what is going on there? What's going on? Trying to make a review here? You okay? So cute. Okay. What was my imagery? So this is just what, what I was thinking actually enjoying this today. I was like, how do I talk about this perfume? And this is the imagery that came to my head. Imagine like a dark night, no, no artificial light, just the moon, the stars, and I see this beautiful black stallion. Like the most beautiful black stallion you can imagine with, with, with his fur, silky, okay? And you see that, that reflection of the moon against his black fur or hair. And then he spots this beautiful mare maybe she's brown maybe she's white i see more of like a dark brown and he's just in love with this mirror and he starts mounting her just the two of them and they start mating in that dark evening with the moonlight just hitting their silky satiny bare skin that's what i think about with this with the moon it's just like a an animalistic sensualness or sensuality that's just what I think about that's just what I picture I mean it's 
there's something just awesome and great about it majestic that's tamed down yet it's bold and strong and powerful uh, but then you respect it you know like there's something about it that you just respect and admire absolutely love it if you're a fan of oud go for this one test it out test it out and if you have been testing it test it some more okay and maybe get a bigger bottle to actually like put it in a bigger sprayer i don't know at least 5 10 ml to actually properly spray it on your skin and wear it and that's my review for today if there's anything in this video that you find helpful um please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel you haven't subscribed it now is the time to please subscribe because I have YouTube videos and you don't want to miss it. Again, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye-bye.